This is Minister Paula Watchman on the Wall in Northern California. Listen, please. I'll be brief. They are pitting us against each other in hopes that we start a civil war and kill each other. That is evil no matter how you slice it. Evil. I was watching a press conference on 1018 and uh, yesterday, 1019 of October 2017, and a congresswoman had made the claim that in a, in a presidential call from President Trump to a gold star widow who had lost her husband, that he said certain things and the media picked up on it and they just railed at the press conference they didn't want to talk about jobs. They didn't want to talk about how the stock market's higher than it's ever been and continues to set records. They didn't want to talk about how Donald Trump is actually defending us and we can feel safe now. And he's not on some apology tour, touring the world bowing to people, that we have a real president with real values standing up for real people. No, they want to continue this agenda of us fighting each other. Don't let them get in your head, no matter who you are. Listen. The, the Washington Post has posted the video that this gold, the conversation that the press is saying where President Trump actually kind of belittled this gold star widow and they put words in his mouth. I have listened to the entire three minute and 50 second phone call. Never once did he say the things the fake media said, not once. He is, you listen to this video and you judge for yourself, I'll put a link. He's polite, respective, honorable, not only to her, but her whole family, and humble while doing it. And the media tried to turn this into a, a battle so we can get stirred up, which I refuse to do, and start hating each other. That is evil to the core. Nothing they alleged he said was ever said. Here's the entire phone call. Listen to it. He did not act or say what they're claiming. It's coming from a congresswoman. Remember this link and you listen to it. He even invited her to the Oval Office. He's talking uh, uh, to her son on speakerphone and calling the, the father a great hero. And we thank this man who did the greatest, the greatest gift you could do is to, greater love hath no man to lay down his, his, his life for another. He laid down his life in the military in service to this country. And we honor him today, not try to stir this into some type of battle and war. This widow did the right thing and released the audio. Now, what, how low will the media stoop next? Because this is the lowest thing I've ever seen in my life. I served in the United States Navy. I joined, when, when I was 17 years old, I dept in, delayed entry program. You have no idea how much this is going to upset people. And do not buy into it. They're stirring up a race war, a left versus right war. Uh, a government uh, an Obama versus Trump war do not buy into it you just stay a prey do not buy into this it is a, exposed as a lie the whole entire thing this is this is John Kelly here former Marine a man of valor and he comes out and he lashes back at representative Frederica Wilson, a Democrat out of Florida, he, 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 in other words, he, stand, he comes out and he takes a stand and basically rebukes her and the media. And now it's being released that what President Trump was claimed to have done didn't happen. Didn't happen. All at the same time, Barack Obama's 
coming out here. Now listen to me here. Barack Obama's coming out here in New Jersey, right? And he's going to give a speech in Newark, New Jersey, regarding the governor and lieutenant governor elections on 1019. And it's all, everything he's saying is a lie. He's talking about his accomplishments and job creation. These people are liars. And so I was talking about 1019, the date 1019, and how he mentioned 1919 every time. And so I found the speech and I listened to it. It's a disgrace and a lie. And so the, the Holy Spirit had me just walk, just come out here and to see. I had read that the speech Obama gave the day after this attack on Trump. Because this is a dual attack on Trump and he used George Bush. This is kind of like a follow-up. The Lord had me go, go read about this uh, speech so I could know more. And they, they said it was approximately 20 minutes. And I'm thinking, no, on 1019, when he's talking about 19 and 19 days uh, to the election, and we're not in the 19th century, I'm like, I bet you it was 19 minutes intentionally from start to finish. And you know what? It was. Former President Barack, he comes out here at around the nine something mark on street. God is, God, is, here's the thing, God is revealing their plans. It's saying don't fall into it. So Obama comes out here right around the 9-11 mark. I'll just, I'll just tell you. Comes around right around the nine, uh, nine minute mark. And then it goes to 27. And so we'll, we'll get a, a calculator here. And so we'll go 27 plus 50 seconds, you see that, minus the nine minute mark when he takes the podium. It's 18. So when you add in this, this 10 seconds and the 50 seconds, you see that? It's exactly 19. On 1019, a 19 minute space, speech warning about the, the country will all look to New Jersey in 19 days, because we're not in the 19th century. All during this hogwash, I'm going to tell you something, I'm going to be totally honest. If this doesn't wake you up, there clearly nothing is that will. Because it's, it's evidence right in front of you with audio and dates. Listen to this video that I put a link to. Listen to the press conference from yesterday and the day before. I'll put links to those too. And you decide. Just watch how the media tries to chew up uh, the president behind lies. But they won't go after Hillary Clinton for lies. A personal, silver, uh, a personal server in her bathroom. Emails. Do you understand that the powers that be are creating a one world order and, and, uh, and the whole idea is to have us all killed off? If you don't, now you do.